Hello, friends, and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England. And we are coming at you today with a video on how you can set up your DAWA hardware, whether it be an IP camera that's live online, an NVR or a DVR, how to set it up to receive the auto firmware upgrades. As we know from time to time, uh, manufacturers will come up with firmware upgrades to uh, address security vulnerabilities, um, encoding issues, and also to keep your hardware current when it comes to the current version of the phone app and client software uh, that, is, that is intended to work with your uh, hardware. So in this case, we are going to use a DAWA N53 AV52 camera, okay? And, and I know for a fact this camera is due for a firmware upgrade, so when we log into it, uh, we should be notified of that. Also, which is great with DAWA, if you have the phone app installed and the hardware connected to it uh, and push notifications enabled, um, the, the camera or the hardware will send you a message um, to your phone, uh, a notification telling you to upgrade the firmware, okay? It, it's very good. Um, it will address any issues that, that they've discovered um, with the original version, okay? It's a relatively simple process. We're going to get into it right now. All right, friends, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way you can be notified when we upload future content. Also, like the video if it's useful to you, and as always, leave comments. A lot of these videos and content uh, has been based over the years on subscriber and viewer questions and comments. Uh, so we certainly appreciate those and keep them coming. So the first thing we're going to do is log in to our hardware. Okay, again, it could be an IP camera, could be an NVR, it could be a DVR, but you're going to log into a camera uh, using its IP address. Okay, so let's put in our password here, and I'll log in. Okay, so we have a camera here uh, on Lake Winnipesaukee. As you can see, up in the settings right here, you'll see this red dot, okay? This is telling me we have something available in settings. We have an issue, okay? When I click that, we're going to come in to the settings menu and you will see a toolbar to the left. Down here where it says system, you see there's our update. Okay, you see it right here, number one. So if we click on that, it's going to tell us an upgrade's available. Okay, so we'll click on that. And we have auto check for updates checked. Okay, this is what you want to make sure is checked off in your computer. Okay. So you'll go into settings when you first install it, okay? We'll come into system, come down to upgrade, and click auto check for updates, hit save. And you'll see right here the previous version is 2.8.21, uh, and the newer version is uh, version 2.8.43, okay? So we have a, a new update. Um, it even tells you what the version fixes, okay? It fixes some bugs, improves the product's performance, and strengthens, and strengthens product security. Pretty much what we talked about. So we'll hit auto upgrade now. And it's going to tell us surveillance is paused during the upgrade process. Do we want to continue? Absolutely. Okay. So we'll hit okay there. And the upgrade process... Um, will happen. You'll see a upgrade bar comes up uh, and it will tell you you download you know the files and what percentage you're at. So right now we're already at 10%. Um, we'll let this finish. Usually I stop the videos um, for the sake of time for this purpose. Uh, we've had a couple of viewers that say hey you know you could run into an issue and we don't know what's going on real time. Can you keep it going? Um, so we'll leave this going so you can see it uh, go through completely. It's at 
But yeah, we've enjoyed we've enjoyed this Dower product. Um, as you know, we were primarily Heek Vision installers uh, for a decade, for many years, gold level dealers with Heek Vision, um, and we weren't super happy with some of the encoding issues um, and the fluency of the phone app and the client software. So we switched to Dower, um, and, and we've had you know much more success with with the apps uh, and fluency. Um, you know, you can pull the cameras up as we as we demonstrated in previous videos. You can use the Smart PSS, and once the camera is connected to Smart PSS by P2P, which is the QR code, um, you can actually use the Smart PSS to log into the camera via browser, like we are now. Um, and that's something that's not available with Heat Vision or any of the other manufacturers. So we're just super super happy with Dawa and uh, this online upgrading process as part of that. All right, so we're at 90%, and I'm about out of things to talk about, so hopefully this goes fast. There we go, 95. Once this is done, it will tell you the camera's going to reboot, okay? And it's completing the process. And again, we'll stay live so you can see the whole process through and, and to make sure your experience is the same. Some of this, of course, will depend on internet speed at the location and stuff like that. Um, this particular client has 300 Mbps, so there should be no problems there. There's our rebooting. Okay, so it will reboot, uh, and when it's done, will be logged back into the interface and you'll see this one uh, is gone because the firmware upgrade process um, ha has completed. It does take a minute. Go ahead and see if it's back online now. All right, so it can't reach the IP camera. It is still in the reboot process after the upgrade. So we'll give it a second and try again. Usually only takes about a minute, so it should be on any second here. Looks like it's ready now. We're almost ready. Usually doesn't take that long. All right, we still have a dot in the settings. So it upgraded the firmware, and now it's giving a message on algorithm version. So I'm not sure what that is. Algorithm authorization expired. Please update license. Interesting. I'm not sure how to update the license. That's something new. Um, so I we'll have to look into that and do another video. Um, but the firmware itself uh, has upgraded. Okay, so we're on 43 now. Um, and the update date was 8-29-23. So we have upgraded the version um, of the camera. We'll go into network and make sure that it is still online. Platform access is online, so that's good. P2P is enabled. And um, that's how you do it. Again, we will look into the algorithm message and find out what that's about. And if there's a way to update that, uh, we'll do another video on that. But until then, have a good day. We'll see you in the field.